This horror story that happened to me and my sister when we were children, I still remember nowadays, although I don't tell anyone about it anymore. Nobody believes me and says it's all children's fiction and we spend too much time by telling each other horror stories before going to bed. So we had a bad dream and believed it was real. No matter what others say, but only me and my sister know the truth. And I want to share it with you. My name is Anna. Sister names is Yulia. Now I am 29 years old. Yulia is 2 years older. 19 years have passed since that day. We spent our childhood in a picturesque village in Polisia, that is, in the north of Ukraine. There was a large, wonderful forest on the edge of it, where we often liked to walk and gather berries and mushrooms. When I was seven, our mother died, and our father has been taking care of us since then. My older sister also played a role of mother for me, when our father was at work. By the way, he worked as a stalker in the boiler room of a local school. And it often happened that he had to come home late. Although life was difficult for us, we still found time to relax and play with friends. And we had fun with them, playing hide-and-seek, catch up and other games that were popular among our generation. It happened one day that I and my best friend and classmate Oksana decided to go to our village library and get some books to read during the summer vacation. Just like we were given this kind of homework at school for the summer. So we went into the library, said good afternoon to Halina Sergeyevna, our librarian, and went to the bookshelves to find something interesting to read. I went to one end of the hall and Oksana to the other. About two minutes passed when I heard my friend calling me. Anya, come here, I found something. Without thinking for a long time, I immediately rushed to her. What happened there? I excitedly asked Oksana when I ran to her. Look at the book I have found, she replied, showing me an old tattered book on which you could barely read the title, Black Magic Spells and Rituals. The book had a black clothes cover and barely held together. Where did you find it? Put it back. It's probably forbidden. I said to Oksana. I found it here, on the shelf with books. A board was bent and I saw that something was lying under it. I pushed it back harder and got this book out of there. My friend whispered to me. Let's take it with us. I wonder what it is about. Then we will bring it and put it back. Maybe we shouldn't do it, I'm afraid. Everything will be fine, said my friend to me. Okay, but how will we carry it? Halina Sergeyevna won't let us take it. Well, we won't show it to her, said Oksana and put the book in the bag. Instead, she took another book from the shelf and we went to the library. After leaving the library, we quickly ran to our friends and showed them our find. Having gathered them into a group, Oksana took out a book from the bag and showed it to everyone. Look what Anya and I have found in the library today. Wow, so you can become a sorcerer when you read it, or a witch, exclaimed Sasha, a boy from our street with whom we were friends. Let's see what it's about. Maybe it's better to gather at our home in the evening and read it so that no one could see us. Dad will return late from work, I said to my friends.
Ok then, wait for us at 7 pm, answered Svetlana, our other friend. So, when the agreed time came, my friends gathered at my home. Oksana brought a book with her and we started to discover it. There were many different spells, rituals and other bad articles. The most interesting for us was a ritual how to call a hobgoblin, and we decided to try to do it. So we sat in a circle, as it was written in the so-called instruction, lit a candle and began to say a special spell. In case of success, the candle should have gone out and some kind of gift should have appeared in the room, which the hobgoblin will bring with him. Instead, in exchange, you should have to leave some kind of present for him. Appease him so that he does not become angry and do some harm for those who called him. So, after the first attempt, nothing happened. The candle did not go out and we found nothing in the room. So, after waiting a bit, we tried again, and then again, and so on several times. In the end, we got tired of it, and we decided that these are ordinary children's tales to scare the naughty ones before going to bed. We laughed together, and our friends began to go home, just as it was already getting dark outside. Yulia and I stayed home alone to wait for dad from work. I went to the room and my sister stayed in the kitchen. When I entered the room, I smelled perfume. I looked at the chair and noticed an empty pepper package on it, so I took it and realized that the smell of perfume was coming from it. I was about to call Yulia until suddenly I noticed something else. There was a small plastic doll on the edge of my bed. It was without one arm and very dirty. I suddenly felt myself very scared and started to call my sister. Yulia, come here, I'm scared. Where did it come from? Yulia immediately rushed to me and asked, What is it? What happened? I showed her what I found. Where did it come from? Who put it here? In the ritual that we performed, it was written that when the hobgoblin comes, he brings some gifts with him. Did we really call him? So why the candle didn't go out then? Yulia, I'm scared, I whispered. Let's go out from the house, I don't want to stay inside. Ok, let's go, agreed Yulia. And we had already started to go quickly to the exit, but suddenly the light in the room turned off. I was very scared and started to cry. Yulia, who turned off the light? I am afraid. My sister was also scared and wanted to take my hand. All of a sudden we heard that someone began to run around the room with small and quick steps. I was bound by an indescribable fear. I started screaming. Yulia was already running up to me, when suddenly something hit her, she fell to the floor and began to suffocate and wheeze. It seemed like something was suffocating her. In a panic, I grabbed the waist from the table and ran to rescue my sister. After I made only two steps, something jumped on me. I instantly fell off my feet and felt something long wrap around and strangle my neck. I tried to break free, but it was too strong. This paranormal entity began to drag me under the bed. Sister was still lying on the floor and could not get up. I already started to lose consciousness. Suddenly the door to the room opened. It was our father. Thanks God that at this very moment he returned from work. He turned on the light and looked at what was going on in the room with shock in his eyes. Yulia was lying on the floor, 
holding her neck and coughing, and I was almost under the bed, gasping for breath. As soon as the light was turned on, I managed to notice how a long grey bird slid on my neck and suddenly disappeared under the bed. Father also managed to notice it. He ran up to us. It was obvious that he was also very scared. We told him everything, about the book and about the ritual we performed, and also about finds in the room. We were sure that it was a hobgoblin. Father made us immediately get rid of the evil book and never do anything like it again. The very next day I took it to the library and hid it so that no one could ever find it. Although, who knows, maybe the person who hid it before us hoped the same. So I told about this terrible adventure to my friends, who were with us at that evening, but no one believed me. They only joked with me that it was all a dream, but I know that it all happened in reality, and my sister knows, and our father. The only question that bothers me is why that hobgoblin attacked us. Maybe because we didn't appease him. Who knows? The only thing I want to ask you is not to have fun with dark magic ever. This is very scary and dangerous.